Today I'm actually filming standing. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. The reason why is because I spend like most of my day sitting. Like, it's actually bad how much time I spend sitting. So I was like, you know what? I can always film video standing up. So I'm going to film video standing up. And then you get to see the gains as well. So you can see as I'm progressing. So talking about gains, this video is about how to build an aesthetic physique. Or rather, how I'm going to build my aesthetic physique. And let's face it. Everyone wants an aesthetic physique. I know for a fact that you want an aesthetic physique and that's why you're watching this video. The truth is, you don't have one. And I don't have one too. <laughs> I don't have one. Like, I'm just here like this. Like, you know, quite flabby, whatnot, whatnot. 6 to 12 months from now, there's going to be a different story. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about how I'm going to build upon the foundation that I've set in the past year. So before I continue, it's important that I tell you about my foundation. So the foundation is, I've been gymming for about... A year and a half and most of my training has been centered around strength right i came into the gym with the intention of being aesthetic and you know building a nice body that looked nice but the way i was training was for strength so i'd be focusing on my bench going up focusing on increasing my squat focusing on increasing my deadlifts i actually still am doing that now even though i'm training for aesthetics but i'll explain that later on in the video so through the strength training i built a firm foundation my genetically good muscles grew a lot so like my back grew a lot oh, and this video is going to be weird because i can actually show you like my muscle groups i'm not going to show you my legs so i'm going to take off my shirt don't fall in love so this is essentially me first thing in the morning with no pump right i'm chilling here this is my chest my chest isn't that good like it's one of the weak areas my shoulders well aren't that good so essentially my pushing muscles my triceps are calm okay i'll go on my toes so that you can see my core needs a bit of work but then my back i think i have a good back i think i have a good back so you know but yeah that's pretty much it so you can see what i'm working with during that first year or first 18 months the reason why i was training predominantly for strength so like day to day i would be focusing on strength was because my reasoning was that if i get stronger i'm going to need more muscle to lift heavier weight right and if i'm lifting heavier weight it means i'm stronger and if i'm stronger i'm gonna have more muscle so bigger muscles and it actually did work out but the problem was that most of my exercises were compound exercises. So I wasn't targeting specific muscle groups that were stubborn. I was just doing like a general, let's say bench press. So bench press would be like your chest, and then it would be your front delts. And it's like, yeah, so I wasn't targeting specific muscles. So my strong muscles grew, but my weak points haven't grown that much. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm actually grateful that I wasn't training for aesthetics from the beginning because it's shown me my problem areas. I'm not experiencing this. Like I've only been gymming seriously for about 18 months. I'm not experienced. But I think that everyone should go through a phase where they're just training like compound lifts. Like, you know, kind of training for strength so that number one, you can see your muscles, which just generally grow like your good genetically gifted muscles and then you can see your weak points because if i wasn't training for strength i wouldn't know that my back just grows like if i go into a gym let fall down my back would grow like a centimeter so <laughs> and i wouldn't know my exact weak points because right now i know my exact weak points i can't my abs aren't necessarily weak points i just didn't do core for 18 months <laughs> but with regards to my shoulders and chest those are weak points like they don't grow that much enough about that foundation most of you don't care about the foundation now on how i am going to build my aesthetic physique this is the part that you all came for so the first thing that i'm going to do to progress in building my aesthetic physique is to focus and prioritize my weak body parts for this cycle cycle makes it seem like i'm doing something i'm taking some train or whatnot so I don't know, for this coming period, I think until March next year, I'm going to be focusing on my weak parts. That's not to say that I'm not going to train other areas, but let's say if I can't go to the gym six times a week, I will miss back. I'll be like, you know, this week I'm still going to do back so that I can still do chest as many times as I want. So for me, I'll be targeting, as you know, my chest, shoulders and arms as well. Like I'm not happy about my arms, like it could be much better. So chest, shoulders, arms, and abs, but abs is just an issue of like 
let me actually do abs they're not a weak point i just don't do abs at all <laughs> and you know what speaking about abs i used to subscribe to that idea that you know what your abs are just going to grow because like they're stabilizing muscles so whenever you're doing compound exercises your abs are being worked and that is true they're being conditioned but your abs are like every other muscle so does it make sense to be like ah you know what I'm not going to do back because I know my back's naturally going to grow as I grow my chest and as I grow my legs. No, it doesn't make sense. So if you're starting off, please do abs twice a week. I've never been consistent with abs now. Like my abs are like a weak point. If you want to learn something from me, do your abs, please just do your abs. So I'm sure about half of you are in that phase where you've built a somewhat decent foundation. You've been gymming for like six months, maybe even a year and you've built like the foundation so you can see which muscles are just good right now and it's apparent which ones you need to focus on so if you've done the foundation this would be the next step for you to progress because you know exactly which muscles you need to train so previously i would be doing like four sets of like 12 now i'm lying i was training heavy so i'll do like four sets of like five reps <laughs> four sets of five reps now i am reducing my number of sets but i'm increasing the intensity so for the past month or so i've just been doing two working sets so then those two sets will always go to failure depending on the weight that i'm doing sometimes i'll do in a rep range of six to eight sometimes i just won't count and i'll just be pushing 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 but i've actually found that i've made a lot of gains doing this way of training where i'm just doing two sets high intensity like pushing to failure to the point where you're now grinding your teeth and you're making sounds in the gym you're like ah, ah. <laughs> i actually think i have a video of me moaning in the gym because like the weight was too much <laughs> morning. so if you've been training for like six to twelve months and you're still doing like four sets like five sets of each exercise you know and each workout you have six exercises and each exercise you're doing like four sets i would tell you that it's it might be a bit too much but hey who am i who am i i'm not a scientist i'm not even as my friends say i'm not even that big so any of my advice take it with a pinch of salt I'm just telling you that in the past month, I've actually seen pretty good results reducing my volume, but massively increasing the intensity. Because like, it's also a mindset thing. When you know that you have four sets and you have one bad set, you're just like, nah, I have three other sets. But when you only have two sets, if you mess up one set, you've messed up like half of that exercise. And messing up half of an exercise is like, oh, it's, it's better on your mind because you're telling yourself, I only have two sets. But I promise you, the amount of work that you can put in those two sets alone is probably as much as you put in the four sets. Because think about it, right? Whenever I I train to failure in my sets, like that's that's just my philosophy. So if I'm doing four sets, right? I found that my first set I'll do like let's say failure for me is like twelve reps. So my first set I'll do like twelve reps. Second set, eleven reps. Third set, six. Like it just drops off exponentially after the second set. For me i don't know if it's the same for you if it isn't the same for you then i guess carry on doing what you're doing but as i've said i'm not <laughs> i'm not that guy when it comes to like the scientific things and i'm just trying to navigate through this even though i'm training for aesthetics now my main focus is to build an aesthetic physique right people will be like oh so don't focus on strength but i'm still going to focus on strength while training for aesthetics because if you're lifting heavier weight you're going to need to get stronger and stronger muscles are bigger muscles so i'm going to choose exercises that will target my weak area so you know like my shoulders my rear adults my chest and i'll aim to get stronger in those exercises while maintaining good form because stronger muscles are bigger muscles people may be thinking that you know i know someone who's strong and they're smaller than me but you're comparing two different people so some people just have like i guess more efficient muscles where i say stronger muscles equal bigger muscles is when it comes to you because look at yourself now you've probably gotten stronger in the past six months and your muscles are bigger they may be bigger than someone else who's weaker than you or someone else who's stronger than you but your muscles have gotten bigger so the stronger you get the bigger your muscles are going to get i guess this is bro science but it's it works for me <laughs> give me six to twelve months maybe even uh, a year and a half and i promise you i'll be looking like baki so gymming and gaining muscle i found is actually really easy you just push in the gym and you eat properly it's a simple process the second way that i'm going to progress in building my aesthetic physique is to lock in with my health 
For those of you who don't know, about this time last year, I started locking in on my health. The truth is I was going through a breakup. So it's like I wanted to prove something to myself, to the world, to the girl who didn't care. <laughs> I wanted to prove that, you know what, I'm actually that guy. I can actually get... I can actually get stuff done. I can improve myself. So I made a deal with myself that I was going to lock in with my health. It wasn't like, ah, I'm going to do this for three months. I just burnt out after about like four months because it was very intense. So I never ate any junk food. Like when I tell you I didn't eat junk food, I didn't have a single piece of junk food for like four months. And like the progress I made was astounding. You know, you know you're making good progress when people ask you like, are you taking something? You know, like, nah, I'm not taking something. People get offended. They'll be like, ah, you're disrespecting my hard work. But I'll just be like, hey, thanks. Thanks for the compliment. Because it just clearly means what I'm doing is working. So during that period where I was locked in, like, I was extreme. I would be sending voice notes to my friends about, like, something that I found out. I was like, you know, if you eat, like, avocados first thing in the morning, it's going to do this. I don't know anything about eating avocados first thing in the morning. It's just an example. Just know that I was very extreme. But I know a decent amount of our diet. Maybe a bit too much because it's like... You can never find a perfect diet online. So a lot of the information be contradicting. So it's just finding what works out best for you. So I've made a diet video in the past. Since I've made that video, I've found out so much more. So if you guys want an updated diet video, then just comment below and I'll make it probably next week. I'm going to lock in on my diet. But the difference between now and last time is like, it's not going to be as intense because I want it to be sustainable. So, you know, I like a treat. Like, you know, I like something sweet. So what I've been doing for the past two months while still locking in on my diet is... Actually, no, it's the past month because when my friends are back from uni, it's like we go out eating a lot. So, yeah. So what I've been doing for the past month, during the week, my diet will be optimal. It will be like on point. And then my reward for having an on point diet is after my sixth workout of the week, I get an Oreo ice cream. Like, it'll just be a small Oreo ice cream. I'll, I'll put a video of me eating my Oreo ice cream. Like, it's my favorite moment of the week. I always go alone. I'm waiting for that sweet one to come into my life so that I'll just be like, you know what? Let's go together. Let's get ice cream on Saturdays. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Cheers, gents.